Guys, one of the questions we have got today is, how can you market a business on $10 a day? Kim here from Your Social Voice. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about that and a couple of different of the different strategies that I would use. But first, first, coffee. But no, first of all, I would normally recommend that you be starting with a minimum of $30 a day budget, okay? Because I think that that is enough for you to test measure, extrapolate out, and really start to delve into things. So can you do get results on $10 a day? Look, you could get results on a dollar a day, but I wanna to talk to you about what I would do with a budget of $10 per day. So I would break this down into a three month cycle. Okay, and now if you haven't seen one of our other videos we've done on our video retargeting strategies, go watch that about our mogul method, because that is what I would recommend you start with to, to start off with, however, before you jump into that, before you do anything, you need to know who your niche is. You need to know who your ideal market is. So you've got to delve in. You've got to go through a stakeout process that we teach people inside our mogul system where you get to understand who they are, what do they consume, what people do they follow, what are they interested in, what are their likes, dislikes, all that fun stuff. You really need to find those things out. You really need to delve into their psyche, their psychographics, their demographics, and understand your marketplace. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you guys have already done that before I give you this advice. All right, so asterisks here, you know, do not do results, not, uh, not typical, unless you've done all that hard work beforehand, because most people don't wanna do the hard work, guys. Sad, but true. So now, let's just say you've done that, you know exactly who your audience is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna promote that content. We're gonna promote the videos, much like this video you're watching right now, right? We're gonna promote that out to our audience, to our database. So on $10 a day for the first 30 days, I would be promoting this content now. Now, depending on the type of ad that you do, the type of video retargeting, the video marketing that you push out, the cost infrastructure is gonna be a little bit different, okay? So let's just say that you've got that $10 a day and it's costing you, and you're gonna do a, uh, uh, two second video views or a 10 second video views. Um, I'm gonna go with a two second, right? And then I'm gonna assume it costs us three cents. Right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of quick math here. I'm gonna pull up my calculator. So if we've got $10, $10, and we're gonna divide that by, let's just say five cents. So by point five cents, it's gonna be 2000 views per day that you can purchase if it costs you five cents per view. So every day you get 2000 people viewing your video content. And we're gonna do that for 30 days, right? So we're gonna spend $10 a day. So then times that by 30, depending on the month, obviously it could be 28, could be 31. That's 60,000 views, right? 60,000 people that could consume your content in that one month period, which is pretty good. But we're not expecting anything from that, right? We're not necessarily expecting that we're gonna get sales in, will we? We may get people inquire, we may get people messaging us and asking us a little bit about that and how they can do that right, and how they can do more with you. But for 60,000 views, which is pretty, gonna be pretty epic, which is going to be your new warm audience, right? You've warmed this audience up, they've watched and they've consumed your content. Now, one little asterisk here is if you wanna do a little pro tip, I'm sure Nita will put up a little bing pro tip right here, right, is you wanna go back and exclude anyone that's already watched more than 25% of this video exclude them because otherwise you're paying for the same people to see it over and over again, which unless we're doing a different a video content, a different piece of, uh, of uh, marketing to our audience, we don't want the same people to be watching the same content over and over again. It's like, cool, if you've seen it, boom, move on as you were, see you next time, right? So that's gonna be 60,000 different people that will consume and watch a view. Now let's just say that maybe a couple times people just tick over a few of them doing the same thing. So we're gonna think, all right, maybe it's gonna divide this by four, right? Some people may watch on average four times. 15,000 people. 15,000 people I'm pretty happy with, right? 15,000 people is A-OK -okay to me. Now, once we've done that, we have a new audience for us to promote to. All right, we have a new audience for us to promote to. So what we can do at the end of that one month after we've had all those 15,000 people watching and consuming it, then we move into our testing phase, our lead generation phase. So what we're gonna do now is gonna use something as simple as a Facebook lead ad. Now look, I know that some people will say lead ads are 
you know, they're doing give the right type of client, blah, 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 all these um, uh, rubbish, if you will, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use it for testing our hypothesis, right? Fancy word, we're just gonna test things out because we wanna find out what is gonna be the best offer, right? How do we make sure that our baby is not ugly, right? We don't want an ugly baby, we want a pretty baby, beautiful little baby child that we're gonna put out there into the marketplace to bring them back in. And what we wanna bring in is the most ideal person possible. So that's why you've got to go through, go back go back and watch our videos on offer creation, on how to create the right offer and how to make sure you've got an offer that is not ugly, right? No ugly babies here. We're gonna get a sign for the front door, ma'am. Christy's gonna make it up, it says no ugly babies, right? None. And what you're going to do is you're going to market to those 15,000 people your offer using a Facebook lead ad. And you're only going to spend $10 a day, right? That's it. We're still spending 10 bucks a day only marketing to those people that have watched and consumed our content because we want to make sure that we've got warm people coming in. We've got warm people that have watched and consumed our stuff, but it's how we, it's our litmus test. It's our little dip your little pinky in the water, dip your uh, pinky in the coffee, right? Delicious. Dip it in and test and see what is going on and what the responsiveness is like. Because if it is super responsive and you're getting leads flowing in, tick offer is good, which means that you move into the third phase. However, if it's not, you've got to test, you've got to iterate, you've got to make changes and adjust it to ensure that you've got a better outcome coming out of it. So that's what you do in month two. When you're $10 a day, you test, you find out which offer works best and which uh, the offer that people respond to the most. Now look, in this time, you're gonna be getting leads coming in. You're gonna get inquiries coming in, which is great. But then on the third phase, once you've done that, over that, that 30 day period, over that one month period, you've worked out who the people are and what they respond to from an offer, then you can create what they will call a funnel. Then you can create a application process depending on what it is that you're offering. Then you can uh, then you can promote, oh, I feel like it was an earthquake, right? Then you can promote exactly what it is that you want with a landing page, submit form. You would use what we call a conversion campaign to generate more and more inquiry. That is what you would do in month three. So in month three, you would start to roll that out to that warmed up audience right to that warmed up audience and consistently ensure that you're going to get the best outcome possible and consistently ensure that you've got a consistent flow of leads coming through. Then if that's happening and you've got income coming in, you'll be like, but how do I then get more people in? Spend more money on your video content out here that we did in month one. Go back and turn those ads on and maybe you're spending then $20 a day, right? Test out a new offer. $30 a day. That's why I recommend $30 a day is because to be able to test anything to a cold market, that's at least what you need, right? But if you're testing and you're playing with a market that you've warmed up, yes, you can get away with $10 a day. Could you do, if you imagine doing one tenth of that being a dollar a day, bringing that audience size down from 15,000 to 1500, yes, it's just a slower process. But the whole thing that you need to remember in that 90 day window, in those three months that we've just gone through there, that whole process on spending $10 a day and what we would do, all that you're looking for is to buy information. You're buying data on what the outcome is. So even if you did that, you spent $900 across those, um, that, those three months, you're going to have so much deep understanding for your audience. Even if you've got no sales, right? That you, all you'll get is that research, bless you. Right? You're gonna have that research phase, you're gonna have all that information come through to you and you're gonna know what to do next. You're gonna know what you need to do to ensure that you get the best outcome possible for your customers and for yourself and your business and your marketing and advertising. So guys, that is what I would do. That's how I would market a business on $10 per day. If you've liked this video, give me a little thumbs up. If you didn't like it, Give me a thumbs down. Let me know. Let Nita know that how good her editing is. Drop in the comments and tell. You know, let Elena know how loud her sneeze was. Whatever it was for you, you can comment in the comments below and tell us. We will appreciate it. Guys, make sure that you subscribe, all right, so that you see these videos before anyone else. And until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. Adios.